Near the Theatre Square, there is a building that can't be missed. Its majestic facade, a fine example of the historicist style, invites you to ask what it contains. For the last two and a half decades, the Mimara Museum has housed the art collection of a single man. Ante Topic Mimara was a painter, restorer and collector who travelled around the world between the World Wars, creating a very valuable and diverse art collection, which he donated to Croatia. It is hard to believe that for a hundred years this building was a secondary school. Museum exhibits are grouped in many different collections. This exhibition was opened on 17 July, exactly 25 years after the opening of the museum. It is a selection from three different museum collections. Paintings, glass and illuminations. These two paintings are interesting because of the changes in their attribution. They were initially attributed to Rubens and Watteau. The Judgment of Paris was believed to be painted by Watteau after Rubens, but it was painted by a follower of Rubens. Landscape with the Rainbow is similar to a painting by Rubens in Hermitage, but is actually painted by someone from his workshop. The attribution was cleared by this man. These are two Armenian miniatures, painted in 1358. Their author is Zacharias Akhtamarsi. I discovered it as I examined them. Armenia is the oldest Christian country in the world. Christianity became its official religion in the 3rd century. One miniature shows Ezebius writing a letter to Carpian. In the letter, Ezebius explained his ingenious system of gospel harmony to find the parts that belong together. His canon tables of the gospels are shown in the other miniature. This is a manuscript created in Istanbul in 1721. It's Armenian, called Pachpanak or Khmail. With 8 meters and 11 centimeters, it is one of the longest in Europe. It protected its owner from the evil eye and all the disaster that could befall him. It's actually an amulet. The third theme is late 19th century glass. I can single out a set of drinking glasses created by the Viennese producer Lomier around 1880. They were made in the colourful Rococo style and richly decorated with gilt and coloured enamel. Check Biedermeier. Silesian Old Deutsch style. The revamped Murano glass. It all reflects the flourishing art of glassmaking of the period. These drawings were made by minor French masters of the 19th century. They represent the future of the museum since they are about to be bought from a private owner. After the visit you can buy souvenirs in the museum shop. and continue your stroll through the charms of the city.